Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to talk about how to fix. Street Fighter 6 is having an issue with crashing, it is not launching or form launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and many more issues which is have on how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the work it out. So the first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. So to do a simple restart, we just need to go over here in the start icon. Now from here, go over here to the power icon, do a restart. Sometimes, you know, a simple restart can fix a lot of trouble. So we have to start with a simple restart. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So just go over here to the game, right click, go to the properties, go to the installer file, and just check where the game is installed. Right now, you can see the game is installed on E. So just close the Steam from the background. Make sure the Steam is closed. Just go over here in the file explorer. Go to this PC, go to local disk E, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to the Street Fighter. Now from here, this is the application. We have to launch the game from here. Instead of launching it from the Steam, try launching the game from here. That will be working in most cases. Make sure it's all about we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility mode. So to run the game as an administrator, we just need to go over here, right click, show more options, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Set this to Windows 7 and you have to go for apply. Make sure we have to go for Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK. And also we have to run the game as an administrator, go for the same properties compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file so just go to the file explorer go to the documents go to my games so here we'll be having a separate folder for street fighter 6 so just delete the respective folder Keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. And we have to start from the scratch. But even though it worked for many users, you have to try. So close this and move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel, and we have to click on this one. Now from here, click on system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow Napport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Street Fighter 6. So, okay, so the game is added. So make sure that you have to put a check on both the boxes, private and public. That's what you have to do. So if the game is not here, we had it, but we need to add it by default. Once it is done, just close this and we have to try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with other peripherals. For example, joysticks might be connected in order to play the game. So these even goes the issue up. So we just need to unplug everything. Once everything is successfully unplugged, we just need to try launch the game and we have to check. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here, search for system configuration and we have to click on this one. Now from here, we have to go to services, go to disable all, go to hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK and do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try and launch the game. Make sure it's all about what we need to do. We just need to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here to the game, right click, go to the properties. Now from here, if you enable the Steam overlay while in game, but it's actually turned it on, turn this off and try and launch the game. Next one is we need to give commands to the launch option and we have to start with the first command but it's DX11 and if BX11 is not working we have to start with DX12. If BX12 is not working we have to start with D3 sorry D3 D2. We have to start with D3 D2 and if still if there is an issue what we need to do is we just need to remove everything. Once everything is successfully removed we just need to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to close the overlay and overclocking application. So just go over here, right click, go to the task manager 
And right now, you can see that a lot of things running in the background. So for the games like Street Fighter 6, not only for the Street Fighter 6, but for any other high-end games, when you start to launch the game, and these things running in the background, they can affect your performance. So just unplug everything. Once everything is successfully unplugged, I mean, not unplugged, you have to remove everything from here. Once everything is successfully remote, we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about. We need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here, search for the graphics settings. Now from here, click on this one and we have to go to the settings and we need to add the game so just click on add desktop app now from here go to this pc go to the installation folder steam library steam apps go to common scroll down and this is where the game is installed and we have to open it and we need to add it so once this freight fighter is added we have to scroll down and navigate to the game and we have to make one thing so the street fighter 6 is added so make sure one thing just expand this now the gpu preferences is this one change this friend for death with let windows aside change this to high performance and we need to close this and we need to try launch the game make sure it's all about what we need to do is if you're still having the issue we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here search for view advanced system setting just click on this one go to the advanced tab go to the settings advanced once again go for change make sure that this is blank and you have selected the local disk where the game is installed. So in my case, the game is installed on E. So I have to select E and we have to go to the custom size. So we have to give the value for initial size and the maximum size. So just go over here. So the initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So just type here RAM. So 16 GB is my RAM. So I have to type 16 GB multiplied with 1024. And you have to multiply with 1.5 because the initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just copy this value and we have to paste it. Make sure we have to move to the maximum that is 16 GB. That is my RAM with the same. And you have to multiply it with 3 that is 14 and 152. So copy this and you have to paste it. Once the value is being set, just try to launch the game. Still, if you are having the trouble, we need to update the windows, which is really important. So once the Windows is up to date, we need to update the graphics card as well. So just go over here. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. So the NVIDIA users just go over here, select everything. For example, like if you're on the GeoForce, select GeoForce. And if you're on the GeoForce 16 series, you have to select 16 series. Everything should be selected and go for a find. Now I'll be getting a page from where you have to download the graphics card based on the PC's configuration. So for the Windows 10, 64 bit and Windows 11, you can download this one and you have to install it. Make sure if you're on the AMD, just go over here, select everything like from the graphics, select the configuration based on your PCs and you have to go for submit. If you're on the Windows 11, download this one and if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. And also if you're on the Microsoft Visual C++, so just go over here. And if the system is based on x64, download this one. And if the system is based on x86, download this one and install it. Restart is a mandatory and try to launch the game. Even after trying with the state, if there is an issue, we have to try a very important step. And one among them is we need to verify the game file. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties, go to the installer file, and just click on the verify game file. So this is going to cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any file missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So once the process is done, you'll be getting a message like this, 364 files are successfully validated and you're fine with it. We just need to close this. And the last and the least step, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. So to uninstall, just go over here and right click, go to the manage and then you can uninstall the game. And while reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the local disk C, so the E, you have to try either D or C. So these are the steps, and I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.